Made of pen and ink, she can win you with a wing. Yahoo! Ain't she cute? Boop, boop, doop. Sweet Betty. Betty Boop has been an animated icon for almost a century. And although she's been voiced by others, there's only one actress who is basically synonymous with the character. My stepmama, 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 I want to see my stepmama. My stepmama, the queen. Come forward, Miss Betty, the Boobadoop kid. I do. What is your full name? Betty Boop. But please. Young lady, you have broken every law of music. What is more, you caused the spreading of the habit to every man, woman, and child. Boobadooping must stop. Oh, no, Your Honor. Mae Questel began her career performing in vaudeville as a teenager, before becoming the voice of Betty Boop. Oh, please, Your Honor, have mercy. of my voice. Ah. And then, after a few cartoons as Betty Coed, they decided to use me as a model, you know, with all the spit curls and that. Yeah. For a great big bale of hay, but don't take my boo-boo-ba-doop away. What did you do in vaudeville? I sang and did comedy. Ah. I was a mimic. Who, who did you mimic? Everybody. Not well, but everybody. <laughs> and I really did. In my act as Betty Boop, I did a song where I imitated everyone, everybody, like uh, uh, Dietrich, uh, falling in love again, never wanted to. I'd make fun of them. There's that band again. <laughs> Hi, dear, and Bluebell's here. In the 70s, she starred as Aunt Bluebell in a series of popular commercials for Scott Paper Towel. Scott Towel, something better, new improved Scott. A new combination of softness and strength. Uh, isn't it funny, honey, that everybody says, where are your Scott towels, and do you really think they're heavier? But they are. In addition to Betty Boop, she also provided the voice for Popeye's girlfriend, Olive Oil. Zazu Pitts, do you remember sure, that? Of course. Sure. Well, anyhow, I saw a storyboard of Olive Oil for the first time, and I nearly fainted. You know, look at this face and the legs and the whole bit. <laughs> and I said, I wonder who? And Max Fleischer at the time said to me, May, what kind of voice do you think you ought to do? Because I used to do dogs, cats, you name it. I said, I have a voice. And I said, oh dear, <laughs> I don't know what to do, what to say. Oh. And that was, that was that's horrible. The man who did the man who did Popeye was called into the service, and you yes. did Popeye. How did you? And we that? had a Popeye all set up right at the recording studio. He got mic fright, which is a terrible thing. So I stepped in, and of course the engineer did a little engineering, but I sounded like, uh, "Whoa, blow me down! Look at the water going! Whoa, shiver me timbers, blow me down if you wake the prettiest gal in town!" Look. In 1988, May returned to the role of Betty Boop in the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Betty? Long time no see. What are you doing here? Work's been kind of slow since cartoons went to color. But I still got it, Eddie. Boop, boop, be doop, boop. Yeah, you still got it. Before we begin, since this is Aunt Bethany's 80th Christmas, I think she should lead us in the saying of grace. Oh. May's most popular live action appearance was also her last, what? appearing as Aunt Bethany in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation what? in 1989. Grace, she passed away 30 years ago. They want you to say grace. The blessing. Hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
do me a favor. Do, do a little bit, if you will. Uh, of what? Uh, Betty Boop, would you? Why not? I rehearsed it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, eat an apple every day. 